Hey guys, it's me Tolha. In today's video, we will be modeling this facade design in Revit. Now, before we begin, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Get access to this project file along with over 100 Revit project files. Your support on Patreon helps me create new videos every week. Now, let's get started. So, here I am in Revit, and as you can see, I have this project file open. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can get this uh, practice file from cadnets.com for free. The link will be in the description. Anyway, first we'll create a curtain panel family. So let's go to File, New, Family. Here, uh, let's open up a curtain panel family. I'll just press C. Uh, here we have curtain wall panel. Let's open this up. Now here, I'm going to go to interior and first we will change the size of this let's go with two feet height and the width also should be two feet so i'm going to put one foot here now we have one foot each on both sides now let's create an extrusion Let's give one inch offset and I'm going to create another rectangle inside of this one. And let's uh, change the extrusion end to one inch. Let's click finish. With this selected, we can uh, just copy to clipboard, paste, align to same place, and then edit extrusion. Now we want to delete this uh, and I'm going to create a new shape like this now we can use pick lines and let's give an inch offset and then first we need to click here and then hover over this line and hit tab key to highlight these lines and click and then i'm going to click finish so we got our another shape here now i'm just going to mirror this one let's press dm and we'll mirror from the middle like so so this is what we got. Let's load this into our project. First we want to save this family. Let's call it pattern01. Then I'm going to save it and let's load this into our project and close uh, this family editor as well by clicking here. Now we want to create a curtain wall here. Let's go to level one and okay, I'll just delete this dimension. Let's select wall and I'm going to select this curtain panel not defined. Maybe you'll see a curtain wall instead of this one uh, if you are using an older version of Revit. Anyway, let's create a curtain wall here like so. Let's go to 3D and here we have our panel it's not visible but if i zoom in as you can see we have this curtain wall let's change the top constraint to level four we want to create from the bottom to the top of this building but here uh, i want to create an opening so for that we need to edit profile let's click edit profile and i'm going to go to the south elevation as you can see the curtain wall is not visible so let's change the visual style to wireframe and then i'm going to use pick lines and let's pick this uh, the edges of this then trim here as well then click finish so we got our curtain wall here now i'm going to select this and edit type Let's click duplicate. I'm going to call it pattern 01. And here we need to change the, uh, we need to replace this curtain panel. Right now uh, we don't have any panels selected. So I'm just going to click this drop down and type pattern. Here we have it. Make sure you have selected the pattern, not the curtain wall. Otherwise you will get an error. So let's select this one. Let's select fixed distance and we want to put the same size as the panel, so which is two feet. 
and for horizontal grid also fix distance and two feet now I'm going to click apply okay there we go you get this error just click OK so we got this pattern created here here if you notice we have some missing panels that's because of this curve if you want to fix this you will need to manually create them following this curve using extrusions for now I'm not going to do that to save your time and those missing panels won't be visible anyway because we are going to create a parametric design over them uh, now to create the curve shape over this pattern we need to go to south elevation again and I'm going to hide this curtain wall so we can clearly see the facade now I am going to create an in place component so let's click this drop down and select model in place and here I am going to select generic models let's click OK and I am going to use extrusion ok first we want to create a reference plane so let's go back to level 1 and I am going to create a reference plane let's give it a name 0, 01 for the reference let's go back to the south elevation and I'm going to select extrusion and this dialog box pops up here you just need to select the reference plane 0, 01 which we just created let's click OK and now I'm going to create an extrusion covering this whole facade now the extrusion end should be 2 feet let's click finish and let's see that in 3d as you can see it's looking something like this uh, uh, now we want to cut this extrusion so for that I'm going to use void blend click this drop down and select void blend and again you just need to select reference plane 1 click OK and let's start creating the profile first I'm going to create a line here maybe 15 feet and then I'm going to create one from here maybe 16 feet and then I'm going to use arc and we'll just uh, connect these lines like so then I'm just going to close this profile like so so I have created something like this now we want to edit the top uh, profile let's click edit top and then I'm going to use an arc and we want to create an arc like this or we can use spline let's use spline from this point and then just connect that here and then I'm going to use line and just uh, extend this here and just close the profile like this here if you want you can adjust this spline now once that's done let's click finish go to 3d as you can see we've got our void here let's select that and just drag this using this handle as I drag this handle it should snap the the face of this extrusion so we should just leave it there and hit escape as you can see it did not cut this white so we need to do it manually using cut geometry tool just click on it select this white and then this extrusion okay there is some issues here with this one so I think we should just drag it outside a little bit and then try to cut this white again there we go we got this kind of shape here okay on this side we need to edit this void profile again let's click edit top and we'll just drag it and we'll just drag this line here and then we want to edit the base and we should just drag these lines like so hit finish there we go let's go back to the elevation and we just we'll just uh, mirror this void 
as just hover over the edge the void should highlight just click on it and then dm for mirror let's mirror like this and then i am going to mirror again on this side this time uh, we just want to uncheck copy and there we go now we can simply select this void and we'll just move it here like so but for this one i think we should and we want to edit this profile let's select this void again and then i'm going to first edit the base let's reduce this arc and i'm just going to make it like this and then we should close this profile use stream let's edit top and i want to edit this as well let's click finish make sure the profile is closed then click finish there we go now on this side also we can simply select this and mirror make sure copy is checked because we want to create a new copy on this side then let's mirror from the middle like so and we want to edit the profile here as well let's click edit base the base should follow this curtain wall so let's delete these lines and then use pick lines and pick these edges here as well okay i think there was already a line here so we can just use trim and trim here as well and then we want to trim uh, this line as well let's edit top and i'm just going to uh, adjust this spline we should just drag this point here and here we cannot use trim uh, with the spline so we need to just drag this line as you can see we have a closed profile now let's hit finish and let's go to 3d there you go we've got this cool looking uh, parametric design over these patterns okay here i think we should adjust the curve let's edit top uh, or maybe the base yes as you can see i did not follow the curve because of this one so let's just delete that and just extend this curve let's use stream make sure we have a close profile then hit finish let's go back to 3d there you go it's looking pretty good so that's how you can create this kind of cool looking facade design in revit of course you can add a text here if you want to if you want me to create a rendering of this project in enscape make sure to leave a comment down below if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon get access to this project file along with over 100 revit project files your support on patreon helps me create new videos every week thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one